Hey, good morning. Good morning. It is uh, kind of early in the morning for me. I'm it's about one, what, one thirty-four, something like that. And uh, just wanted to show you something that we were doing with your selected photo. First of all, just like to say thank you very much for letting me go ahead and take those pictures uh, for your uh, for your pageant headshots. Really glad that you were happy with the pictures and hope everybody was. And let me show you exactly where we are so far. OK, so this was the picture that you all selected uh, for the headshots. And I'm really kind of glad of this because this was kind of the one that I was looking at. Uh, I think my wife was looking at this one and said that this was one of the ones that we liked the best. So this is what you gave us. This is what we shot. Um, this is the one we this is what we have so far. Now, when you <clears throat> when you zoom in, of course, you'll notice that we want to kind of clean things up a bit. We, we want to take care of any problem spots or anything like that on the face or anything that that we don't really want to highlight in the photo we just want to bring we just want to try to get rid of those if we can for the photo and that's where the skin retouching and things like that is going to kind of come in we want to make changes although we don't want to make uh Tamiya look any different than what she really truly looks like so it, it's one of those fine balances that you want to kind of have so this is where we were uh if you notice here on the on the right hand side you're going to see this section here with a lot of a lot of stuff to kind of scroll by so right here is where i'm highlighted and these are the changes that i've actually made on the picture right here every little thing you're seeing here you're gonna see why in a minute here but all these changes I made long before today this was like pretty much after we <laughs> got the photo that you selected and I got the work on it pretty much right away so here we go I'm still just kind of scrolling so I apologize it's a lot of work we did and all the way up to here so let's click on this and you'll notice a slight difference look at that so in case you couldn't see it real well, we're going to go ahead and show you a side by side comparison. OK, so what we're looking at right now, let's go ahead and zoom in on, on Tamiya here around the forehead, for example. <clears throat> You'll notice that we went on in there and, and, and got rid of any problem spots, any discrepancies or anything that we really don't want to highlight in the photo. Again, these are just little temporary spots on her. Um, we don't want to kind of show that off in the picture right now. We want to go ahead and just try to take care of a lot of those as much as possible without changing the way Tamiya looks. She's a very good looking lady, so we want to make sure that we show off what she really, really looks like um, in a much better light. And you'll notice a little bit of a difference there, <laughs> or quite a bit of a difference there. That's just in the forehead, and we go down the page a little bit more and we'll notice uh, differences as you're, as you're going. Now, right now I'm looking at it one-to-one. -one. This is 100% quality. Uh, the human being is more than likely not able to see this kind of quality. They're really gonna see um, this. This is really what they're gonna see uh, from the print, especially if it's a headshot for a picture that's kind of small, they're not even gonna see that much quality. If you blew it up really, really big, you'll see you'll see this kind of quality if i was to click here this is where you you have to have a huge high super high resolution to be able to see this type of quality so the reason why i'm pointing this out is we want to make corrections at this resolution this far in even though most humans are not going to really concentrate on anything this close let's take a look at what we're seeing in here though You'll notice that, let me go in, uh, instead of one to one, let's go in 200%. So if we go in 200%, we'll notice a little hair here. And that hair is gone over here on this end. You know, these are just exact side by side. So you know that that's gone. Let's talk about something else too. You'll notice her eyebrows here were done very well. And you'll notice, but little, little hairs here. Little hairs here. That's going to happen. No one's really going to see that. Back up like that. No one's even going to see those hairs really, right? Those hairs are there, but no one's really going to see it. Let's go back and we'll look at on the other side. You'll notice, hey, we, we went on and kind of cleaned that up just a little bit. We wanted to make sure we kept the, the mascara, the color that it actually is. We don't want to change anything there. We want to complement that area and make it look, you know, a little bit more cleaned up. Um, as we scroll through, you'll probably notice little fine little things that were done a little differently, you know, to, to make the skin uh, stand out just a little bit better. Um, now, 
here's where I had a little bit of fun. So let's go back to one to one. All right, so you'll notice on the original picture here, um, the color of, of her eyes are like that. When the original picture came in, it looked like, when we shot it, her eyes really looked like that. Um, they looked okay, but you really couldn't see too much of the eyes. So I got in there and we kind of um, enhanced the eyes a bit, kind of brought out the color of those eyes you see that and really kind of made them look a, a, a little bit better so again we have the side-by-side -side comparison to what the eyes you used to look like and what we what we want to bring out in the picture and as you know we bring it back we're looking at those eyes those eyes kind of stand out a little bit more than in this picture right over here you'll, you'll also notice um, we could have made that jewelry a little bit shinier but we didn't want to do that we, we we want to kind of dull it just a little bit and you'll see it more in the black and white maybe uh, we want to keep the illumination more in the face um, we want to really highlight the face a lot more than the jewelry so we kind of tone down the jewelry just a little bit um, now let's take a look at the at the um, let's go with the black and white so the black and white turned out like this so far so far it's kind of a bluish hue to it right now but i'm going to get rid of that it's going to look a little bit more black and white or i can keep it like this who knows it may even turn out okay like this but as we're looking at the picture this is the cleaned up picture as we cleaned up the face and the skin kind of got the color correction and everything the way we wanted it for color well we just simply moved it over to black and white now moving it over to black and white is easy for anyone to do is simply to turn a color turn a color picture into a black and white is not really that difficult at all but what is difficult is afterwards well you have to enhance certain areas of the photo in a special way to really bring certain features out when you turn things into black and white well it really kind of changes things a bit so let's go into a little side by side the color versus the black and white so we're going to look at let's say this one her color one is looking good as you can tell we went on and cleaned up the face we cleaned up the um we, we didn't do anything to the eyes over here on this one. This one, we kept the eyes the same on this one. We didn't touch it. Over here, I went on and enhanced those eyes a little bit. As you can probably tell, those eyes are a little bit uh, different. You know, ready to, you know, ready to pop there in the picture. Um, we went on and made sure that uh, the lips didn't look as flat. So we wanted to make those slightly enhanced. Um, we could have made that we could have made those lips a little bit darker uh, but decided probably not to do that uh, because it will make it look a little weird but we want to make it look a little bit more natural um, the black and white looks good I, I think so and except for the little bluish hue we're gonna get in there and probably get in there and correct that at before before the ending but really want to kind of let you see where we are what we're doing uh, what, what we have going on and uh, I really do appreciate again the opportunity to shoot and want to kind of show you some of the magic behind the scenes and what's going on and and uh, and kind of what you're paying for you know so hey thank you very much again my name is Dre from Thornton Bad Photography you guys have a great morning okay bye-bye